Hello. Well, currently sat on the A1 heading southbound and I have been for the last 45 minutes. Um, I don't know where the time's gone this week really. I don't even know where I left you or what the last thing I did with you. I think it was Monday when I was going to Litchfield. Um, Litchfield, I went from Litchfield, I then went to uh, Tuesday, I went to Froome. And then from Froome, I went up to Wednesday, I went up to um, Duckingfield, which is uh, sort of Stockport Way. And then from Stockport, I went over to Leeds to get a box off. And then I overnighted at Scout and Lake Services, which is Junction 45 of the M1. I then went back into uh, Stoughton, Sturton get a new box and then I headed up to um, Cramlington which is north of Newcastle and loaded there and started to head south and I was supposed to be at London Gateway I knew the time was going to be tight for London Gateway um, worked out that it was too tight so I was going to stop somewhere and then hit uh, hit this accident, or whatever it is, I take it it's an accident, which is further up the road. And um, I've been stationary for well, at least 45 minutes, I suppose. Oh, I think it was just after 6 o'clock I got here, um, and it's now 10 to 7. I'm okay for drive time, and I'm okay for working time at the moment. Um, but that's not really the end of the world if I have to go over that. It's, uh, drive time is what they're worried about really. Um, I'll just do a print out and write on there. Um, there's nothing I can do. I'm stuck in stuck in um, stuck in traffic. That's a big old scan you coming up there. Mate. Listen to that. So um, yeah, I'm due to stay at A1 truck stop at Colst. Colsterworth which is 25 mile away I think something like that uh, but it's still telling me that <coughs> it's gonna take an hour and a half to get there which is not good at all so um, yeah that's the state of play for the week tomorrow I'm gonna have to just take nine off tonight and then um, get into London Gateway, box off, box on. I'm supposed to be in Enfield for nine, but that could change. Um, we'll find out in the morning. And uh, yeah, find out in the morning. And um, see what happens from there. Uh, yeah, tomorrow's my last day, because I'm uh, on holiday. But I did say that I would run in on Saturday if I had to. So who knows what may happen between now and when I finally get finished. So yeah, A1 southbound, stationary. That's all I can say. It's been a busy old week. And I'm looking forward to two weeks off. Anyway, speak to you later. Hello. It's uh, half eleven and I'm probably done about a mile and a half from when I last spoke to you. Um, it's been a serious accident from what I can make out from online. A number of cars were involved. Um, one ended up on its roof and another went over the or went over or through the central reservation into and hit. Uh, an oncoming vehicle so um, I can't imagine I'm hoping that everybody walked away but as the road's been shut for so long now 
um, I fear that is probably not the case. Uh, I haven't even come up to the scene of the accident yet. Um, I'm not out of driving time. Loads of driving time, but I am out of working time directive. I can't park. There's nowhere to park. I've just got to keep going until I find somewhere. Um, yeah, that's all I can say. Um, still going. We travel sort of hundred, couple hundred yards or a hundred yards at a time, then stop for five minutes. If that. Um, sometimes, and most of the time, it's a lot longer. I mean, I was at stationary for a good couple of hours at one stage, and um, yeah, I think the road's blocked in both directions because there's there's nothing coming the other way either. Um, yeah, sad state of affairs, I'm afraid. Uh, my, my VBS time, my booking slot for the docks is out a window I've had to let I've let them know by email and they've got back to me and said that's fine I was supposed to be there at six o'clock in the morning well even if I get parked up by midnight I can't start until nine o'clock tomorrow morning so the six o'clock and I'm two hours away so, <laughs> so I've got no idea what's gonna to happen tomorrow well uh, we'll find out find out later but um, I'll give you a little update tomorrow I suspect I'm not gonna to bother tonight I'm absolutely shattered um, <clears throat> so yeah I'll speak to you later <coughs> blimey starting a cough as well anyway cheers and bye hello um, it's Tuesday today and I'm now on holiday but I just wanted to give you a quick update on the uh, last few video clips of what actually happened when um, I got stuck in all that traffic um, so just a little bit of an update and recap you might be able to hear the washing machine going on because I'm in my conservatory at the moment so bear with it um, yeah stopped at six o'clock in the evening uh, the traffic ground to a halt on the A1 just around Grantham area heading southbound and I updated a couple of times I think in the video which you've just seen and eventually we got cleared to go at around half two in the morning yeah half two I was there from six o'clock in the evening till half two and we moved in that time probably less than a mile uh, yeah it was hard graft um, as we moved away obviously I had to uh, find somewhere to park up fairly sharpish I'd run out of um, working time directive that had run out at nine o'clock so I had to find somewhere really really quick unfortunately because of the amount of trucks in front of me uh, all the laybys were full there was um, I went past one couple of garages and they were all chock-a-block with trucks there's no way I could have got in there I mean people were truckers were parking in my opinion parking dangerously with their ends sticking out onto the A1 onto the carriageway and I would like to have thought that the police would have done something to move them actually because it was dangerous uh, so I carried on going for another 20 minutes down to the A1 truck stop and managed to get in, get us, get a space and park up for the night. But I got there, I pulled my card at just after 3 in the morning. I had to take uh, an 11 hour break because um, I couldn't reduce obviously because I'd gone over. So I took a full 11 off which meant that I didn't actually get going until 2 o'clock in the afternoon. I'd emailed the office to tell them the score and you know there's nothing you can do really so uh, yeah I got going at well about 20 past 2 by the time I'd put my card in it just after 2 uh, and sorted myself out and done my checks and all that malarkey and uh, which obviously meant you know leaving at that time time in the afternoon I was supposed to be on the docks at 6 o'clock in the morning if the plan had gone to plan but obviously right out the window and the day's job that I was supposed to be in Enfield for 9 o'clock that wasn't going to happen either obviously so the loose plan then was to get back down to London Gateway which is and this is what happened I got down to London Gateway I got the box off I then ran dead to with nothing on the back down to Southampton where I had to get a box on um, and by the time I got back to the yard and emptied my truck because I didn't want to leave anything in the truck because somebody else is using my truck whilst I'm on holiday yeah, that's, that's, that's one of those things so I wanted to clean it completely out 
and clean it down to make sure it's you know sanitized for the next guy because i'd like to think if i was going into someone's truck someone would do that for me um by the time i'd done that and got home it was 11 o'clock at night which was just just ridiculous really I, I, you know just too long a day too much so uh yeah got back at 11 o'clock at night and um, especially as i'm going on holiday and uh yeah my holiday starts started then we haven't really done much just moved to bat i think um i think the tiredness is still working its way through we've done nothing but sleep really the last couple of days uh a few little plans we're going to go up and see my daughter up in preston end of this week and then we've got a shepherd's hut booked for two or three days i might record might not i don't know see how it goes and um yeah a few other little things in between we'll see how it goes but um yeah that's me off for two weeks and I've, I've got to be honest it's it's well needed it's the last eight nine weeks have been um hard graft so anyway that's the update oh need to update a little bit more actually um i read on the news that um as a result of the accident which the the details are still pretty sketchy but from what i can make out it was two cars one had overturned and then flipped over the central reservation and gone into oncoming traffic which sounds messy especially bearing in mind the time we were held up thankfully there was no reports of any um deaths which is brilliant but a lady is in um was critically injured and was in hospital i don't know what the update is now because you can't seem to get any you know there's no further updates in the news so i've got no idea but um yeah that was uh, at least nobody had died up until sort of you know the weekend really so that was, uh, that was hopefully she'll make a full if not partial recovery and um you know live to see another day let's fingers crossed anyway so yeah that was the longest i've ever been held up in traffic i feel sorry for the car drivers that are held up because uh, you know when you're in a car you can't do anything can you you know i'm, I'm me in a truck i've got everything on board you know i can cook i can eat i can drink i can make a cup of tea make a cup of coffee you know what i mean I, I can pee in a bottle you know i've got all facilities on board to survive not a problem the only thing i couldn't do was obviously sleep now about 10 o'clock i think all the cars had disappeared so they must have been cleared out of the way so it just left us truckers to sort of fend for ourselves a little bit but what can you do you know you're stuck in that situation you can't do anything you just got to grin and bear it but yeah um it was a long old time it's the longest i've ever been held up and uh yeah it wasn't the worst bit was actually when we got the go ahead to go and everyone started moving was was moving off at half two after i'd been up since sort of five in the morning half five in the morning it was um to then concentrate on driving and then going through some narrow road works which is what i had to do as well that was really hard work so uh yeah i earned my money that day um so yeah if you like it and you're still watching this um hit that thumbs up button if you don't mind so at least i know if there's anyone watching this and i might record one on holiday and i might not if not you'll see me back in the murk in a couple of weeks time anyway stay safe everyone bye bye